In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate percentages using Excel. So what I have here is a personal budget of monthly expenses. So for someone living in an apartment, I have first rents going at 1200 Utilities, this can include the water bill, the electric bill, cable, internet, cell phone bill. So that's at 300 we got the car payment, car insurance, health insurance, food at 500. You know, your boy got to eat, travel, investments. You got to pay yourself first and also miscellaneous expenses. You never know when something is just going to come out of the blue and you got to pay for it. Now, in order to calculate the percentage of each of these expenses, we need to get the total. To do that, type in equal sum parentheses and then highlight the column of data that you want to add. So the total monthly expense for this example is 5,000. Now what percentage of that 5,000 monthly expense corresponds to just rent? To figure that out we need to divide these two values. So let's type in equal the information found in B4 divided by what's found in B14. And so we get 0.24, which corresponds to 24%. And we can adjust this and make it a percentage. I'm going to show you how to do that shortly. Now let's do this again. Let's take, let's get the percentage for utilities. So we're going to take B5 and divide it by B14. So about 6% of the budget of this $5,000 monthly budget goes to utilities. Now let's see what percentage of this budget goes towards paying the car note. So I'm going to type in equal B6 divided by B14. So about 5% of this $5,000 monthly budget goes towards the car payment. If we type in equal B7 over B14, we get 6% towards car insurance, 4% towards health insurance, Point 0.1 is 10%, so 10% is going towards food, 12% is for travel, 20% for investments, 13% is for the miscellaneous category. So what I'm going to do is highlight this, go to home, and I'm going to change it from general to percentages. So now everything is in a percent. We change it from decimal form to a percentage. If we want to, we can get the total to make sure that all the percentages add up to 100, which is does. So that's how you can do some percentage calculations using Excel. What you need to do is whatever you want to find a percentage of, let's say if you want to find the percentage of the car payment relative to the entire budget, you just take the value of that car payment and then divide it by the total budget. And that'll give you the percentage of the budget that goes towards the car payment. So anytime you wish to calculate the percentage of something, you need to use division. You need to take the value of that something you want to find a percentage of, divide it by the total, and then multiply by 100%. Now in this example, I didn't need to multiply by 100% because when I changed the formatting from general to percentage, it did that for me already. So there was no reason to perform that additional step. But let's say if we decided to do it that way. Here's how it's going to look like. So if I type in equal B4 divided by B14 times 100, it will simply give me 24, but without the percentage symbol. But now let's say if I go to home and then change it from, change the number from general to percentage, it's going to be 2400% because when I do that, it's going to multiply it by 100 another time, which 
we don't want to multiply the number by 100 twice. So that's why I didn't put the 100 here, because once I change it from general to percentage, Excel was automatically going to multiply by 100. So just something that I think you should know when dealing with percentages in Excel. Thanks for watching.